is your life. First off, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rikar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, to the Akiyam out here on the highways and byways, risking their lives and freedom, you know, to do so, making their bodies a living sacrifice. Right, as the scriptures uh, ordain us to do so. All right. Um, <clears throat> uh, 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 um, blocking that fiery darts of Satan with the shield of faith. Want to say shalom to you brothers as well. Keep up the good fight of faith. Continue to spread the good news, which is the gospel. Right. Of our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And to the Akwaf, which is the sisters out there listening and learning. All right, in silence, <laughs> at home, you know, reverencing your husbands if you have one. All right, and if you don't, uh, being obedient in the daughter of Zion to the best of your ability. I want to say shalom to you sisters as well. All right, and continue to uh, support your man and continue to support the ministry. All right, shalom to you sisters as well. All right. Um, <clears throat> today, the spirit got me going in to uh, conversion, man, pretty much to convert. Uh, right? I don't know what I'm going to name it, you know, yet, just yet, but I just wanted to go into, you know, repentance and, and re conversion. We in that time right now. Okay. And there's a lot of, um, new, new believers and newcomers, you know, as myself, you know, coming into the truth. All right. Um, you know, coming to the truth, and what I found out, man, hey, man, you got to change in this thing, man. Okay, you have to come in this thing, uh, pretty much not being who you used to be. All right, you have to turn from that old man or woman, right, and become a new person. Uh, no, no different than how a butterfly would change and morph. You know, from a um, uh, what what is it? Uh, um, some type of caterpillar or something like that. But I know it's a, a morph stage that it turns. You know, that it has to turn into a butterfly, right? Okay, so that's how we actually. That's actually a symbol. You know, the butterfly is the symbol of a new life, a new beginning. You know, a lot of um, even though it's carnal, but a lot of uh, people coming out of prison or in prison, you know, they get the butterfly, you know, on the bottom of, of their eye, which you shouldn't be marking your body, you know. Uh, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, co-signing that. I'm just letting you know the symbol of a uh, of new life or a new beginning, you know, is a butterfly. Okay, so pretty much the, 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 the point is, you know, you must morph or change or convert from, uh, you know, the old person that you were all right, into a new creature, all right, and that new creature of what, you, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh designed you to, you know, to be, okay, so <clears throat> first off, I want to start off, I want to start off with the definition of conversion, let me start off with that first, I'd like to start off with definitions and things like that, just to get a base of understanding of uh of what what the uh, lesson you know is talking about. Okay, so the word conversion means what? A radical change in spirit. You see that? You see that? And if you know anything about the spirit, man, it can never you know. The, the spirit never dies. The spirit is pure energy. It's pure fire. So the spirit never dies. It can only what? Change from one thing to another. Okay? It morphs from one body into another body. All right? You cannot destroy energy. Okay? And that's pretty much uh, no different than a conversion, ch conversion chart. Okay? A conversion chart, what does it do? Um, it converts 
uh, inches to metrics. You know, uh, it converts um, uh, milliliters to inches, inches to, you know, such and such and such. You know, the number never changes. I was well, lucky like the number changes, but it morphs into a whole nother unit. Okay? So that's no different than the spirit. All right? But I don't want to go into that. That's a whole nother lesson. But the conversion is what I'm saying. Being able to convert or change. All right? But this is what it said. A radical and complete change. You see that? In spirit. Purpose. Right? And direction of life away from sin. You see that? And towards love, the love of the most high. You see that? Change. Okay? It said transformation, entry into religious life, way of life, behavior, right? Your conduct, right? So the way that we used to live, you know, uh, you know, the selling dope, you know, selling women, you know, uh, being uh, an eye being evil towards our brother and our sister, okay? Um, the old life that we, we, we was brought up into these customs, man. Worshiping idols, you know, worshiping these uh, these folly days, you know, okay? And we changing and converting ourselves into what? Drinking the water from our own cistern, all right? Hey, we coming, now we turning back to the heritage and inheritance that we once had, okay? And that's a, a whole part of the conversion, all right? And whole part of repentance, man. I believe the, the word repent to, uh, goes into uh, to turn, all right? And what do we turn to turn back? And what are we turning back to? Our heritage, man. What we, we, we once were, we once had, you know, because at one point we discontinued from our heritage pursuant to uh, Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah, okay? Uh, I believe it's Jeremiah. Let me pull that up. Because we discontinue from my heritage, man. Okay? It's locked. Give me one second. Yeah, Jeremiah 17 and 4. You know, just to give you, uh, for edification's sake, Jeremiah 17 and 4, man, we discontinue from my heritage, right? Right? So if, if we was to discontinue from my heritage, right? That the Lord gave us, man. Right? So guess what we doing? In the midst of that discontinuum, we what? Was scattered across the four corners of the earth. Okay? And by us being scattered across the four corners of the earth, what happened? We started to take on the customs of the heathen, man. We started to take on the customs and the, and the awareness and the likeness of, of the ones who had uh, you know, uh, us in captive or in captivity, okay? Instead of taking on the likeness that the Lord made us in, in, in the beginning, all right? In, in the book of, in the, in the Genesis, all right? Chapter one and two, okay? That was the likeness that we had. The Lord gave us inheritance. He gave us a way of life, all right? But what did we do? We wanted to follow the custom of the heathen. And a good example of that is the book of uh, First Maccabees, man. All right? The book of First Maccabees, where the custom of the heathen, man, hey, we we um, uh, 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 we, we took out the, the, during the Greek captivity. All right? So that's just a couple points that you might want to go and check, you know what I'm saying, to get the understanding of uh, why we need to turn back, why we need to convert, why we need to repent. All right. Uh, let me finish this uh, definition. It said way of life, behavior, dwelling, residence. You see that? All right. It says sexual intercourse. Uh, I don't know about that, but it said uh, a turning around, revolving. All right. All right. So you you get the point. You pretty much conversion. You know, you turn it from one. You know, you, you turn it from one way of life. All right. Or behavior of life. And you change it and what and 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 into another man. Or into the one that you was once given anyway. Okay? 
So that's good. We we started off with that. <coughs> so what do we do first, man? Right? First, what we do is, hey, the scriptures told us to seek ye out of the book of the Lord, man. All right, let's let's start with uh, Isaiah chapter 34. It's a lot here. Isaiah chapter 34, right there. We can start at verse 16. It says, This is the first thing we're supposed to do, man. All right. If we was discontinued from our heritage, then that means we had other books, all right, or other uh, knowledge that we were supposed to obtain, all right, or that we uh, uh, that we gained, you know, due to the scattering, all right, which made us wise in their eyes, but not in the most high eyes. He winked at our ignorance, man. Okay, so first. The scriptures tells us to seek ye out of the book of the Lord, man. And read. Let me go read it right here. It says, Isaiah 34 and 16 says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. Hey, ain't no book going to add up, all right, or be able to uh, compare to the, to, the, to the Holy Scriptures, man, the Holy Bible. All right. There's no book. So the first thing we should do, hey, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and, re and read it. All right. At first, it's not going to, you know, things is going to seem gibberish at first. But once the Lord enter into you, you open up, you take, you draw, you know, uh, what it say? Take one step to the Lord. He'll take two steps to you. Well, it said that the scripture said, draw uh near to the lord and the lord gonna draw near to you roughly paraphrasing okay and that's what's going on let me finish reading it said none shall want her mate for my mouth it had commanded and his spirit right it had gathered them right so the holy spirit is the one that's going to gather you or, or or be able to give you the understanding right once you seek out, seek ye out of the book of the Lord. Okay? And that's just it. All right, let me read 17. It said, And he hath cast a lot for them, and his hand hath divided it unto them by line. They shall possess it forever, for generation to generation shall they dwell therein. Right? You know what I'm saying? Hey, and, 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 and and, and the Lord is the one who's going to divide the understanding. <laughs> if you if you can receive it, to divide the understanding. All right. Hey, what the scripture say? Line by line, precept upon precept. Who shall understand the uh, the knowledge? All right. Those that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. All right. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line. Here a little, there a little. Right. Uh, pursuing Isaiah 28, I believe. Okay, so hey, the Lord is, is, is going to give you the understanding once you seek ye out of the book of the Lord. Okay, so that's the first thing we must do. All right, because no, no, um, no um, book can add up or compare to this book. Man. No book has the prophecies, all right, and it's been, been fulfilled. The ones that's been fulfilled and the ones that's uh, we can see that's about to be fulfilled, you know, pursuing the Revelation 13 and 16. All right. So that's the first thing we must do. Right. A part of your conversion is turning back to your inheritance or your heritage, man. That we once were, that we once had. Let me prove that since we, I keep coming on that to discontinue. Uh, Jeremiah. 17. Jeremiah 17, the deceitful heart. All right, it says Jeremiah 17 and 4. Let me start at. Let me start at. Uh, 
Let me start at four. It said, and thou, even thyself, right, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever, man. And hey, when did the, when did the Lord say he was going to do this, man? Hey, Deuteronomy ch uh, chapter 28, verse 64. Okay. The Lord promised us through the scattering, uh, you know, through the disobedience of, uh, uh, of, the, of the law. That he was going to scatter us amongst the different nations, man. All right? Just on the two, Deuteronomy 28 and 64, man. That was a part of the curses. All right? So now, what we have to do is convert, all right? Do the conversion and turn back to the Heavenly Father and turn back to our heritage, man. That's the whole point of repentance. And the Lord has given us this great period right now to be able to do that man all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to start off and ask you know what i'm saying uh hey man double honors to the apostles and elders man the great millstone too man who, who really uh when they taught this truth you know what i'm saying it really resonated you know what i'm saying and uh in in the hearts and the minds um uh, of 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 true believers, man, of sincere brothers who really wanted to uh, understand and and know this history, all right? Know the history, you know, to be able to know the mystery, all right? Okay? So uh, let's start at um, Acts chapter 3. What does it say? We start at, what, 16... 17. Uh, let's start at 17. It says, Acts 3 and 17 says this, And now, brethren, I what that through ignorance, right? The word ignorance means not knowing, right? Because we were in a, a dead state, uh, pursuing the uh, Ezekiel chapter 37, right? We was in, you know, the valley of the dry bones. Okay, we was in a dead state. All right, it says, I what that through ignorance ye did it, as did also your rulers. Right? It said, but those things which the Most High uh, before had showed by the mouth of all his prophets. All right, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, uh, certain prophets, Moses. All right? It said that uh, the, the Messiah or the Messiah should suffer so have uh so of uh, so like he have so fulfilled right and he had when he came on the earth all right he came on the earth that you know he fulfilled to be the the sacrifice of his people all right which is israel it says <clears throat> it said acts 3 and 19 it says repent ye therefore right and be converted you see that? <laughs> Repent. This means in turn to and turn back, right? It says that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. All right? So, hey, the Lord is telling us to repent, man. All right? And be converted. Now, we just read the definition of what conversion is, right? Now we finna look into the definition of uh, repent. Let's see if this is the the definition for. Uh oh, here we go. It said it says to it said repent. Hold on, let me go to the. Strong's Jews thirty three forty. Which in the ale. To change one's mind, right? To repent, to change one's mind for better, right? Heartily to amend with abhorrence, right? Of one's past sins, pretty much to feel sorry, man. Right? And what you what we doing now when we entered into this labor, into this ministry, man, 
we feel sorry for the things that uh, we've done in our past life, right? That's why we're, we're changing our minds and converting, all right, back to our heritage, man. Okay? So at the end of the day, we have to repent and change back to the Heavenly Father, change back to our heritage, man. Okay, let's see the root, if it's a root. Let's see what the root, that's probably re and that's probably pen. Let me see, uh, let's see what pen is. We know what re is. It says to perceive, to perceive with the mind, to understand, right? To have understanding, to think upon, to heed, ponder, right? And consider, <laughs> right? Hey, I believe in Hosea 4 and 6 said, my people don't consider, right? So at the end of the day, we, we have to, cons now we considering, you know, once we repent, once we get ready to convert, we're considering, all right? Now, what, what are we considering? Hey, we considering what we first had, <laughs> once what we had, shit. And when we came into these other nations, we like, damn. We had it better in our father's house, you know, reminded me of the prodigal son. All right, when the prodigal son, he, he got his inheritance, right? <laughs> he got his inheritance and everything. And through his inheritance, hey, one, hey, one son stayed back, you know what I'm saying, and, be, and been obe obedient, you know what I'm saying, and being obeyed, you, it's like it, and was obeying, you know what I'm saying, his father, right? And another son left, you see what I'm saying? And with his inheritance and spent it on harlots and spent it on fine wine and all this stuff and pissed out, you know what I'm saying? Pissed up all his inheritance, man. Hey, man, and then he started to work for these other people and all that. He, hey, he said he had it better. He, and that's why he said the dogs had it better. You know what I'm saying? The what he got going on. Hey, that's re that reminds us of, the, uh, of us being scattered into these other nations, man. So we got to do what the prodigal son did, man. We got to what? Turn back, man. And what did his father do? His father received him with open arms. Okay. And what did the brother do? All right, which is the circumcision. That's the circumcision and the uncircumcision right there. You know, damn, that's crazy. You know? Hey, hey, what did this, the circum the brother do that was that that stayed back? You know, and listened to and obeyed his father. He got mad. You feel what I'm saying? Because his father received the men. So, because he felt like, well, damn, I've been here. I've been doing what you say. You know, I've been such and such. I've been here, you know. But we got to rejoice when, when, when one comes back because now they what? Understand. Now they understand what it feels like to be, you know, to, 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 uh, to be in these other nations, to be um, uh, poor. You know, and not have an inheritance. Okay? So when they come back, they're like, oh, man, I had it better here. It's best that they come back. Right? So that's what this whole thing is about, man. Turning back to the Heavenly Father, man. All right? Turning back to the Heavenly Father. Right? So at the end of the day, that's what we must do. All right, so lock it. It said, it said, so like I'm gonna read it again. It says, repent, all right? Ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come, right? From the presence of the Lord, all right? And the Lord is coming back, man, all right? The Lord is going gonna, is gonna to come to make every, all things new, man. Right? He's going to make all things new again. Good again. All right? And, and that's, what we, that's what we are being patient for right now. We're being patient and waiting for those times. All right? We're being patient at uh, uh, those times, man. Lucky. Yeah, so that's what we that's what we're being patient for, man. Right now, we're being patient, you know, to be able to, uh, you know, receive, you know, that inheritance back, man. Okay.
okay let's go to another one all right let's go to another another one boom 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 matter of fact let's prove that we were scattered let's prove that we were scattered amongst these other nations man so that's 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 what we um was uh being that's what we was um that's why we had to be repentant so like i'm trying to read my notes and try to do this at the same time so just be patient with me but uh deuteronomy 28 Deuteronomy 28. Let's go to verse 64. As I stated earlier, just proving uh, proving these points through scripture, you know. Line upon line, precept upon precept, so we get an understanding. Alright. Oh, these are the curses, man. Let's prove that these are the curses. Let's go to like 16. Alright, this is the blessings, right? And what? Consequences. Consequences is the curse or being a bit of disobedience. All right. So let's go to 64. It says, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all nations from one end of the earth, even unto the other. And weren't we as a people uh, in captivity after captivity? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We were scattered across the four corners of the earth. Everybody had a hand. In, in our captivity, man. All right. Hey, they, the uh, the uh, the Egyptians, the Assyrians, the Babylonians, the Medo Persians. All right, the Greeks, the Romans. Hey, and now America, man. <laughs> Shit. Okay, and now America, the Chinese. Okay, at one point, like we everywhere, we scattered across the four corners of the earth, man. There's nowhere you could go and you don't see us. You might see few of us, but there's nowhere you could go and you can't see Jake, man. All right? So we were scattered, man. This is why we had to repent, man, because we had to serve under God. We had to serve our sentence out, man. It says, uh, it says, in the Lord, in the, in the Lord, Yahweh, right? And Yahweh, uh, shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even to the other. And there thou shalt serve other powers. Right? Mm -hmm. That word translates to powers, but I'm going to read it as it says, other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Alright? You see that? Wood and stone. Christianity and, and, and Islam is one of the biggest uh, uh 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 what's that idol worships <laughs> or other gods really other religions all right that that jake is in has ever been in and it's been a big stumbling block right it says um well you get the point that's the point of the scattering right there okay so with that being said man hey that's just, this is the reason why we had to turn back or repent and be converted right so now we get that let's get to um yeah and then we got to come back to the man come back to our inheritance man become a new creature man all right that new creature man all right uh let me see Right. Let's um. Let's go to. I got a lot of notes right here. Let's go to um. You know, <clears throat> so what do we do? Let's go to song. Yeah, let's go to Psalms. Uh, got a precept in, in in my notes for Psalm ninety six. Yeah, that's and that's so true. Yeah, Psalms ninety six, verse five says, 
for all the gods of the nations are idols. You see that? That's what we was carried away, man. After those dumb idols. Hey, hey, that's what Paul said, man. He know that we were Gentiles, man. Carried away after those dumb idols, man. All right? For all the gods of the nations are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. You see that? Hey, the Lord is the... Hey, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, is the only real power, okay, on earth. Don't that make sense, man? And it's so simple. People, we want so many, so many gimmicks, you know what I'm saying, to come, to be able to turn back to the Father. No, it is so simple, man. All right? It's, it's, it's power in being simple. And being simpli in the simplicity of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right? It says, for all the powers of all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. It said, honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Right? So well, that's what we need to turn back to, man. Remember I gave you the story of the prodigal son earlier, man. Okay? There's no other, uh, what, what the scriptures say, uh, 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 no other book shall want his mate, right? Seek you out of the book of the Lord, all right? And that's what we turn it back to, man. We turn it back to the Lord's strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. We turn it back to the Lord's house, which is our inheritance, uh, heritage uh, in the first place. It said, Give unto the Lord, O ye kindred of the people. Give unto the Lord uh, glory and strength, right? So, hey, that the Lord, when you come back to serve the Heavenly Father, man, you turn him back to, to, the, to, to the supreme being, man. Right? It said, give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering, right? And... Come into his courts. Hey, what and what's the offering? Right? Hey, yourself. Making your body this living sacrifice. Right? Making your body's a living sacrifice. You the offering. Just like just like Isaac was the offering, and he didn't even know it. You know, when Abraham was uh uh uh, uh about to sacrifice him, man. Right? So we the sacrifice. It said, oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. You see that? It said, say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth. Hey, the Lord reigns supreme above all these other uh, gods, man. It said, the world also shall be established that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously, man. And that's a righteous judgment, man. Okay, that's a righteous judgment, man. Okay, so what we must do, man, hey, we must understand, man, when we seek it out of the book of the Lord and read, hey, after that, what we got to do? Study. We got to be able to study, right? Which, hey, which brings me to what? Second Timothy, right? Yeah, Second Timothy. Yeah, Second Timothy, chapter two, <laughs> and unshamed. The heading is an unshamed workman, right? Okay, it said Second Timothy ch chapter two, verse fourteen. Of these things, put them in remembrance, right? And that's what that's what's happening when we in these other nations, man. When we were scattering these other nations, now what we doing is. We be thinking ourselves. We rethinking ourselves. Hey, we remembering ourselves. Okay, we remembering. Look, it's a hey, what 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 we had when we was in, you know, our father's house. We had it much better then. Okay, it says, of these things, put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord, right, that they strive not about words to no profit. All right, but to the subverting of the hearers. All right, it says this, verse 15, study 
to show you thyself approved unto the Most High. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. All right? And that's the point right there, man. Hey, rightly, hey, we got to study once we seek you out of the book of the Lord and read, man. Right? Hey, the Lord going to give you, you know what I'm saying, the understanding through the Holy Spirit. All right? Little bit by little bit, he's going to give you little portions, especially coming in as a babe. You know, you can't you can't come in and feed a babe meat, meat, meat. You know, you got to give them milk little bit by little bit. And then the Lord going to build you up. Man, all this is due to the uh, portions of the Holy Spirit that he gives you. OK. So. We must understand, hey, we got to study to show ourselves approved, man. All right? When we come into this truth, man, and be able to re repent. Okay? Uh, verse 16, it says, But shun profane and vain babbling, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. Hey, man, if it's not saying, thus said the Lord, or if it's not coming about this, this book, you know, then guess what? Anything if it's if anything other than that is is it leads to ungodliness, man. It's not of the most high. All right? And that's just point blank, period, man. Right? So um So now you got gotta ask yourself, okay, well, well what um what is it that I need to do to, um, you know, to, um, Salaki? Oh, my man, anything. Oh, yeah, I like this scripture. Let's go to Romans 13 and 8. Right? Romans 13 and 8. Right? Romans 13 and 8 says, Owe no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth one another hath fulfilled the law. Right? And that's what we got to do, man. We got to show true love one another, man. Right? Hey, a part of those curses is his eye shall be evil towards his brother, man. All right? And this society, man, it teaches you to hate your brother. It teaches you to be a lone wolf. Right? But we not wolf. Hell, hell even wolves roll in packs. Okay? Even wolves roll in packs, man. Okay? So, with that being said, you know, we have to understand, hey, we got to start loving one another once, once again. It said... Verse 9, for this thou shalt not commit adultery, right? That's one thing we was doing when we was in our past life, committing adultery, man. Sleeping with another man's wife, man. Hey, and to the women, the women was married, sleeping with other men. Okay? So that's one thing we converting, you know, uh, from. All right? We converting from other people's ways of life ways of life and custom and coming back to our laws because our laws are divine it said thou shalt not kill oh man you know what's going on in the neighborhoods and the barrios right in the projects hey we killing each other left and right that's another thing we can repent from it said Thou shalt not steal. Oh, man, that goes on a lot of Israel, right? Jake stealing from one another. It says, thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, right? Why? Because if you love your neighbor as yourself, you wouldn't be doing all this. You're not going to steal from yourself. You're not going to kill yourself. Right? You ain't going to want nobody to commit adultery and, and sleep with your wife. Right? 
All right. And these are the Ten Commandments, man. These, hey, this is the commandments that were orally from the beginning. All right. And the way of life that the, that, that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh gave us hey, from the beginning, man. All right. So why in, in Romans in the New Testament does has this does this have to be reiterated? Because we, we once had this. We once had these laws. All right. And this was in the Torah. But now he had to he had to make sure this was what reestablished, man. Why? Because we we got off this way, man. We got out of the, the way of, of 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 these commandments, man. All right, we got out of this way. It said, "Love worketh no ill to his neighbor." Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Right? It's the fulfilling of the law, man. Because if we loved our brothers as we loved ourselves, we wouldn't be doing all this. And that's what happens when you convert and you change, man. You change from the robbing, stealing and killing, right? Being just a complete nigga, all right? Hey, and, 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 and becoming into, a hey, being a God, back into being a God, man. Right? Hey, what is sin? Hey, transgression of the law. That's sin right there. And what is sin? Transgressions of the law, man. Pursuing the first John chapter three, verse four. All right. Now we're gonna get one more scripture. We're gonna get out of here. Uh Romans chapter 12. That's uh next chapter over. <clears throat> I don't want to lose, man. Romans chapter 12. Boom. It says, right? It says dedicated service, right? Once we come into and get built up in this thing, man, and understand what we, you know, understand what we signed up for. Look, it said Romans chapter 12, verse 1. It said, I beseech you, therefore, Salakia, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, right? Talking to the Israelites. By the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies as a living sacrifice, right? Right, right. That's what I'm telling you. We the sacrifice, man. We got to present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service, right? Hey, when we come into this thing to serve the Lord, man. Right. And repent and convert ourselves back into the heavenly father's ways. Right. Now we got to make our body the living sacrifice. OK. By trying by doing the work, man, to the best of your ability. All right. Verse two says, and be ye not and be not conformed to this world. Right. Don't conform to the world, <laughs> you know. Right. Which the world <laughs> is is. Is is given into the hands of the wicked man right now, pursuing the Job nine and twenty four. The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. Okay, so we're not gonna be like how this world wants us to be. This world wants us to what? Uh, 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 kill each other, steal from each other. You know, the world wants us to transgress against the law because the more we transgress the law against the law. The farther away it puts us from our inheritance. The farther away it puts us from our power, man. All right? It says, but be ye transformed, right? That goes back to what? Conversion, right? By the renewing of your mind, that ye may, like it, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the most high all right you see that and when you go into this word renewing that means what to grow up let's prove that let's prove that all right it says strong's g342 anachinosis Anachinosis. Anachinosis. What? It's a renewal, renovation, right? It's like you get a crib, 
it's the same house, you know, an old crib, whatever, that you want to renovate. It's the outside of the shell, all right? You know, it's the same foundation and all that. But what you're doing is when you go in and you seeing all the kitchen need to upgrade, all right? All the bathroom need to upgrade. All the living room, the whole house need to upgrade. So you're renovating, you're renovating, and you're changing what's already there. Okay? And you're making it become new. And that's what you got to do to the inside of your mind. Right? You got to change it, man. You got to upgrade it. You got to renovate it. All right? So let's go to the root, which is the point that I'm making, all right? And it says what? To cause to grow up new, to make new. New strength and vigor is given to one, right? It's like uh, if a person was like, I can speak for myself, man. I was 280 pounds at one point, man, all right? And I would have had a terrible lifestyle, man, right? And then I got down, you know, start working out, start eating right, renovating my, my inside, renovating my body, renovating my mind, right? Renewing my mind, putting the right things into my body. And guess what? I got down to 190 pounds, 189 pounds. All right? I was 185 in high school, man. That was over 20 years ago. Well, about 20 years ago. Okay? And when I became, you know, 189, hey, I felt like a new person. You know? I felt like a new person. Okay? And that's what we and that's what we got to do in this truth, man. When we come to serve the Lord, man, we got to become a new person, man. It said, that's why I said Romans 12 and 1 says, hey, renewing of the mind. Right? Don't be the same nigga that you was, man. All right? And it's a daily process. It's not It's not easy. Hey, but you got to work towards it, man. It wasn't easy to lose all that weight either. But guess what? I had to work towards that. You know what I'm saying? Every day. All right? It said to cause to grow up. That's the point. You got to grow up in this thing, man. All right. And that's how you 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 um convert, man. It comes a point in a man's life and a woman, all right, for sure. Hey, well, you you gotta just grow up, man. It's time to grow up. Right? And that's my version on how you conversion. And convert yourself. That's my version, <laughs> you know, to what the Lord showed me, you know, starting with the apostles and elders on down to me or whatever, on how you convert and repent, you know. So with that, we give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakadash, all right, Kwame Yashrala, right? Shalom.